Hi, Kipsters. It's Ms. Diaz. Today is Friday, and it is Cozy Pajama Day. So make sure you join your teachers today for Spirit Week. Yesterday, we were able to make so many composite shapes. And what we're going to do today is have a very special shape called a tanagram. If you are able to right now, pause the video and make this tanagram yourself. And make sure that you have all these shapes in your tanagram. If you are not able to make it, that's okay, and you can just do it with me. Yesterday, remember, we made composite shapes. Today, we will be making shapes out of larger composite shapes. So if you look at this, this looks like a square. And then if we go back to the shapes that make up this tanagram, we're going to figure out what are all these shapes that are making up this tanagram. I'm going to fold over, and if you have your tanagram, do this with me. I'm going to fold this over because I see a shape right here that I think I can cut out. So I will fold it over, and now I'm gonna take my scissors and carefully cut this out to see what shape might make up this tanagram. All right, Kipsters, what shape does that look like? Hmm, that looks like a triangle, great job. But I'm noticing that there are even other shapes within this triangle. So let's see if we can cut out even more shapes. All right, Kipsters, what shapes were we able to cut out? So we were able to cut out smaller triangles. Great, now let's see if we can go to this other piece. So I'm looking at this, and this also looks like a triangle because it has three sides and three corners. But I'm noticing that there are more shapes in here that maybe we can find. What other shape do you think we can cut out from this? Let's try this one right at the top and go ahead and cut it out from your tenogram too. Okay. Ooh. That looks like another triangle. I wonder if a tanagram is only made up of triangles. Let's see if we can put or get other shapes. All right, let's cut this one in a corner right here. What shape is that? That is another triangle. Hmm. I keep noticing that we're just finding more and more triangles. I wonder if we're gonna find other shapes that make up this bigger composite shape. Okay, let's cut this one out. Ooh, Kipsters, does, does that look like a triangle? What shape is this 2D shape? Yes, it's a square because it has four sides and four corners. And now we are left with this. Let's see. I think I can cut out this shape right here. It's another triangle. My Gipsters, I'm left with this shape, and I wonder what shape this is. So it looks just like a rhombus, but a rhombus is a special parallelogram that has equal straight sides. If we look at this shape, it kind of looks like a rhombus. It does not have equal sides. So this side and this side, their length or their size are longer than this side and this side. So it's not quite a rhombus, but it's called a parallelogram. Let's go back to all those shapes that we were able to cut out from our tanagram. What shapes made up this tanagram? I want you to think of the three shapes that make up the tanagram, and what are they? Hmm. All right, Kipsters, you should have been able to figure out that we have a square, we have triangles, and a parallelogram that make up our tanagram. We just figured out the three shapes that make up a tanagram, a triangle, parallelogram, and a square. Right here, we have our shape chart again, just in case you don't remember what some of the shape names are or what their attributes are. And what we're going to do is try to solve this worksheet. So we're gonna focus on the first one. How many shapes were used to make this large square or our tanagram?
If we look at this, it looks exactly like the tanagram we, we used. So I want to know how many shapes are in this larger shape. So again, how many shapes do we have here? And what are the names of the three types of shapes used to make the large square? Remember, we just talked about what three shapes make up that larger square or that tanagram. So you can pause the video and try to answer these questions for number one. Now we're moving on to number two. Use two of your tanagram pieces to make a square. If you were not able to make your tanagram, that's okay. You can just draw it out in a piece of paper. But if you have all the pieces we cut out from the tanagram, go ahead and do number two. It says use two of your tanagram pieces to make a square. So which of these pieces are you able to use to make a square? And then you can draw the pieces out on a piece of paper. And now for number three, you have to use four of your tanagram pieces to make a trapezoid. And I put our shape chart over here in case you don't remember what a trapezoid looks like. So let's look at the trapezoid, okay? Four sides and four corners. So you now have to use some of your tanagram pieces to make a trapezoid. So you can also go ahead and draw that out on a piece of paper once you make it. Right now, let's check our work. So we're looking at this Kipster's work and she figured out that there are seven shapes that made up the larger square. And just like we figured out, the three shapes that make up a tanagram are a triangle, a square, and a parallelogram. And if you were able to make, number two, use two of your tanagram pieces to make a square, you should have figured out, ooh, you could use maybe two triangles to make a square and put them together just like that. And then the four pieces to make a trapezoid, I see this Kipster use square and triangles, maybe her parallelogram or maybe a different triangle to try and make a trapezoid. And now your job, and I want you to send this to your teachers so they could see that you were able to make this special shape. I want you to use words or drawings to show how you can make a larger shape with three smaller shapes. So these would be three smaller shapes I could use to try and make a larger shape. And once you figure out what shape you were able to make, name that shape. If you think you can use more than three shapes to make a larger shape, Go ahead and do that too. But I want you to make a larger shape out of three smaller pieces or more than three shapes. So if I wanted to use two triangles, two more triangles, I could do that to try and make a larger shape. So again, once you're able to do that, send your work to your teachers so they can see that once again you are becoming such an expert on shapes.